Hi there, it's Peter here. You're watching the GreenSock 101 free online course for front-end developers and designers where you can learn a lot about GreenSock API and web animations in 60 minutes. In this video, you will learn how to control the playback of GreenSock timelines. We'll cover some of the methods like play, pause, resume, reverse, seek, progress, time scale, and much more. And now we'll add couple buttons and we'll write the JavaScript or the jQuery code to do the right thing. So we want to play, pause, resume, reverse, speed up, slow down, seek one second, go to the middle of the timeline and restart it. Okay, so we'll start with creating the buttons in HTML. I'll use the magic of speed coding or editing in screen flow. Nice, we've got a buttons container with buttons with the right IDs and the action we want to perform. Now we'll jump to the style sheet or the SAS file, SAS file and we'll style the buttons. Again, I'll use the speed coding just to make sure I don't bore you with writing SAS. Cool, so that's the SAS done, compiled. And if I refresh the browser, we should see all the buttons there. We don't because I didn't save the HTML, did I? Where are all the buttons? Oh, they're here. Position, fix, top 20, right 20, S buttons. I forgot the S, so misspelling. That's why the buttons didn't appear where I want it, okay? If we refresh this in the browser now, the buttons were lined up previously at the bottom. Now in, they are in the top right corner. Let's jump back into Sublime Text into the main JS. And the first thing we'll do, the first thing, the first option how to control the timeline playback is to pause it. It's very simple. We'll just type in TL dot pause and that will pause our timeline. So on a page load, the timeline won't start. Okay, we should see a blank screen with nothing on it, okay? Because the timeline is paused, it doesn't play. And then we'll use the buttons to trigger the playback, okay? So the first button we create, I'll just put a space here so we can see it. The first button we'll target will be the playback button that has a ID BTN play. And on click, on click we wanna trigger a function and that function has tl.play. Okay, very, very simple code. As you can see, just two lines of code, which pauses and plays the timeline. Button play, click tl play. And if we refresh it in a browser, we should see the playback button triggering the animation. Okay, so the playback works fine. The second button we create, I forgot a semicolon here, We'll just duplicate it and we'll target the pause button. And that will pause our timeline. Pause. And just to make it easier to work with this example, we'll also tweak the duration to one second. We'll remove the label and we'll also remove the labels from here. Okay, just to make it easier to see what's happening with the timeline, we'll have just five twins all in a sequence at the duration of one second. This will make it easier to, to play with all these buttons. Okay, so we have a pause button working as well. If I go here, refresh, we'll play it, and then we'll pause it here. Okay, so the timeline paused when we press the button, and now we'll see how we can resume it. Let's go back, target another resume button this time. This will be resume, whoops, resume, and that's resume as well. As you can see, it's very straightforward. It's play, pause, resume, exactly what it does. So we'll play it, we pause it, and then we'll resume it. Okay, straightforward. Now let's do the next three button all in one go. Reverse, speed up, and slow down. We'll copy the button three times, 
the reverse button will have TL dot reverse to reverse the playback, to reverse the order so it plays backwards. The button speed up will have time scale, so time scale, and inside of it will have eight. Okay, so we want to speed up the t the playback of the timeline eight times. Okay, so this is a multiplier of how much you want to speed it up. So if you have one inside of it, it plays at the default speed. Eight means it speeds up eight times. And we'll copy and paste the same into the slowdown. And inside of there, we'll have 0 0.5. And that will reduce the playback to 50% of the original speed. So let's review these three buttons in a browser. Refresh the page. We'll play, pause, resume. Now we reverse it. So it goes in the opposite order. If I play again, it goes back to the same order. And let's hit the speed up button now. And you see how it speeds it up. And if I play it again and slow it down, the animation is slowed down to 50% of the original speed. Okay, you can speed up also in the reverse. So if I hit reverse and speed up, it reverses in a fast mode. And the last three buttons will use the seek progress and the restart functions. The seek will jump into an absolute position in the timeline. So one goes to the one second of the duration of the timeline. This could be also a label. So if we had the intro label as before, we could just jump into that time on the timeline using the quotes. We'll keep it one second for now. The progress is setting a value between zero and one. So zero is the start of the timeline, one is the end, which means 0 0.5 is right in the middle and the restarts using the restart to restart the timeline. <laughs> now let's review these three buttons in the browser. So we'll refresh the page, we'll play it, We'll jump into one second because we've got one second twins. We should see just the green sock 101 on the screen when we hit the seek one second. So if I pause it and jump to that, you'll see the first twin on. If we want to go to 50%, we should have a couple of the twins there. So it's first, second and half of this one. And then we restarting, going back to the start. Okay, hope that makes sense hope you now know how to control your timelines and do some basics interactions with it. We'll keep exploring the GreenSock API in the following video, but if you want to download the working files and follow me step by step and also watch the whole course without the annoying YouTube ads, then hop onto my website and sign up for free. The link is in the description and I'll see you in the next video.